This is new, the U-Hawk, an uncrewed, fully autonomous version of the legendary Black Hawk helicopter. Sikorsky has taken the battle-tested UH-60, stripped out the cockpit, removed the pilots, and replaced them with clamshell cargo doors and cutting-edge autonomy. What's left is a robotic heavy-lift war machine capable of flying itself into the most dangerous zones, carrying 10,000 pounds of supplies, drones, or even a high Mars rocket pod, all without risking a single crew member. It's not just a drone, it's the birth of the world's first true unmanned Black Hawk, designed to fight, resupply, and survive in the high-threat battlefields of tomorrow. At first glance, the U-Hawk still looks like a Black Hawk, but step closer and you realize it's fundamentally changed. Gone are the crew stations, gone are the pilot seats. In their place, Sikorsky has installed clamshell cargo doors and a loading ramp that transforms the aircraft's nose into a massive entryway. By removing the cockpit, engineers created over 25% more internal volume, giving the U-Hawk the ability to haul bulky cargo that would never fit in a standard Black Hawk. Think about that. A drone helicopter capable of carrying 10,000 pounds of equipment, or even a full high Mars rocket pod, ready for rapid deployment into forward zones. But the real innovation lies beneath the skin. The old mechanical flight controls are gone, replaced by a fly-by-wire system powered by Sikorsky's Matrix Autonomy Software, a technology that's been maturing under DARPA programs for over a decade. With it, the U-Hawk doesn't just fly, it thinks. Using a simple tablet interface, a single operator can command the drone through startup, flight, and shutdown, all fully autonomously. This is a leap beyond optionally piloted. This is no pilot required. And in an era where Russian and Chinese anti-air systems are making crewed helicopter missions increasingly dangerous, removing the human from the cockpit may be the smartest tactical evolution yet. Now imagine this scenario. An army air assault force preparing to push deep into contested territory. Instead of sending troop-loaded Blackhawks first, U-Hawks fly ahead, silently delivering launched effects. Small drones and loitering munitions deployed directly from modular pods in the cargo bay. These pods, called launch quivers, can hold up to 50 drones, a mix of short, medium, and even long-range systems equipped with cameras, electronic warfare payloads, or explosive warheads. They can map the battlefield, jam enemy sensors, or strike soft targets all before the first soldier sets foot on the ground. This is what the Army calls metal-on-metal -metal first contact, machines meeting machines before humans engage. The U-Hawk's design supports this entirely new doctrine of manned-unmanned teaming. It's not just a supply drone, it's a force multiplier, one that can resupply troops, deliver unmanned ground vehicles, or act as a forward-deployed drone carrier. And all of it can be done at extreme range. Sikorsky claims the aircraft can self-deploy up to 1,600 nautical miles and remain airborne for 14 hours, depending on configuration. That endurance, combined with autonomy, opens possibilities across the vast Pacific theater, a region where distance, not the enemy, is often the hardest obstacle to overcome. And while the U-Hawk's battlefield potential dominates the headlines, it's worth noting its cost efficiency. Sikorsky is building these from retired UH-60L airframes, hundreds of which are being phased out of Army service. That means the military could convert proven reliable helicopters into drones at a fraction of the cost of building entirely new airframes. It's a clever, almost pragmatic use of legacy technology to meet modern threats, and a move that could reshape how the Pentagon modernizes its fleets going forward. Still, this transformation isn't just about logistics, it's about survivability. As modern battlefields bristle with long-range surface-to-air missiles, radar-guided guns, and electronic warfare systems, crewed helicopters have become increasingly vulnerable. We've seen this in Ukraine, where conventional helicopters are forced to fly dangerously low or stay far from the front lines. The U-Hawk's autonomy eliminates that risk, allowing it to perform dangerous missions like resupply or drone deployment without risking pilots' lives. From a strategic standpoint, this is a response to a changing era of warfare. 
Crewed helicopters aren't disappearing, but they're evolving into something smarter, and uncrewed counterparts like the U-Hawk will likely take on the dirtiest, deadliest, and most demanding tasks. The combination of payload, range, autonomy, and modularity gives the U-Hawk a unique edge. Whether it's launching drone swarms, delivering heavy munitions, or sustaining remote outposts, this machine could redefine the backbone of future air operations. In summary, the U-Hawk represents a new chapter for Sikorsky and for U.S. military aviation, one where legacy meets innovation and where the skies of the future might be filled not with pilots, but with intelligent machines executing complex missions miles from human control. The next time you see a Black Hawk liftoff, imagine it without a crew, because the age of the uncrewed warbird has just begun.